Hi, Melanie Minchinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a card that I submitted for the summer issue of Card Maker. They showcased it on the front, so I really appreciate that Card Maker for sharing my card that way. I used my A Year of Flowers 2 set from Gina K Designs. Show you inside the full card. They also have a download of the instructions for this card on the website, but I thought it would be great if you've never made a stair step card just to show you how easy it is to make these folds and create a cascading bouquet out of these different flowers. I'm going to be using Spectrum Noir markers on this today even though I use Copics in the magazine. Very similar colors. I'm also going to throw in a little bit of yellow just to make it a little bit different. So for this card, you're going to need the A Year of Flowers 2 set, and I don't have the cover artwork for that set, but this is what all the images look like. Colored in, I did a really solid coloring job on most of these, but I'm going to be doing a more sketchy, kind of scribbly style of coloring on the flowers the way that I did on the card. You're also going to need a black pad. This is the Gina K Black Onyx. Some blocks for those various flower stamps. I have some scissors that I'm going to be cutting the flowers out with. The cardstock, this is the Pure Luxury White. I'm using the heavy weight for the base and the layering weight for the flowers. It's always a lot easier to cut through the layering weight, in my opinion. This is 5 by 10 and a half inches, and I'll show you all the measurements for the folds, but the reason why I did five instead of the usual five and a half for an A2 size card, I want those different flowers coming off of the edges. So anytime that you want it to still fit into an envelope, maybe make the base just a little bit smaller so that you can have that overlap, but it still fits. I'm also going to be using a score buddy and the Spectrum Noir markers that I have today. I'm going to be using the DR2 and DR5 is kind of a warm red and a cool red. I'm using the C2, I'm sorry, the CT2 yellow and the GB6 yellow. So kind of a cool and a warm yellow. And then finally the TB3 and the TB5. All right, so let's go ahead and stamp out these flowers. It's in the black onyx ink. I'm going to ink up this daisy first and stamp that right to the side. So when I was doing these different rows of flowers, I was trying to alternate so that it would go back and forth, that the daisy would be on the right or in the middle in one row and then off to the side or the left on another row and that way you kind of have a play back and forth. All right, then I'm going to use this kind of sunflower looking flower and finally this flower. So I'm kind of going up and down and I overlap these flowers. I don't think that you need to worry about masking but if that's something that you want to do go right ahead. Okay so I'm going to go ahead and start coloring. Let's go ahead and do the yellow flower and for these since I'm not really going to be worrying about trying to get right inside and filling in every little edge you might want to just go ahead and grab the chisel tip. So you can see the chisel tip of this marker, it fills it in very quickly. You can have it make a wide or a narrow stroke. Okay, so just see how quickly that goes. Now let's finish with the GB6. So if you want a smaller line, so see that's just a real warm yellow, or you can use that brush tip. And so I'm just making big loops, just like you see in the image. And then you can go back with the lighter marker if you want to kind of blend in those two areas, that area near the middle where you want the dark one to blend a little bit more with the light, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of the red, just quickly trace that swirl, and then a few of those little parts in the center. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to make a couple of these flowers blue and I know that I have a blue flower on the opposite end from the ones that I already prepared. I'm just going to be showing you one strip. So let's go ahead and see how I'm just quickly just swirling it around, scribbling, and then do the blue to those centers. And then I'm just going to blend it together. So see it's just very, very quick. 
But again, if you really want a more blended look and fill in all those little areas, then you can. So see, I'm just going back over that to blend those two blues together. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some red to those centers. Okay. And now let's go ahead and do the last flower. Use the chisel tip. So you see how easy these are to color. And then we'll just add a little bit of the dark red to the middle. See, it's just a little bit darker, but it just gives them more dimension. And then I think I'm going to make the centers of those blue. So I'll just do blue for the spots and then blend that a little bit with the lighter blue. Okay, and that's all the coloring I'm going to do on that. Now let's go ahead and cut it out. And for these, since you're mounting it onto a white base, you can get away with not cutting out along the line. That white rim by just going around suggesting where that line is on the outside. It'll just blend right into the base. And it kind of looks more like a sticker. This is a really popular way for some people to cut. And if you don't like the really intricate fussy cutting or worrying about maybe having it a little bit too close or having to snip off an extra piece, this is a great way to go because you're just going close to it. So see, I'm not really using, turning the scissors as much as I'm turning the paper to go around that outline. And as long as it's close and suggesting that outline, it works. So it's a lot easier. But definitely for some images, I want to cut it out right on the line. Since I haven't filled in the image exactly up to the line, this also makes a lot of sense just to make it look this way. Okay, and then I'll cut off just those last little bits. All right, so I have my flower border. So here's a couple that I already made. So these are just gonna get stacked in whatever order you wanna have them. Okay, now let's go ahead and score this cardstock. So I will post these measurements below, but again, this is 10 and a half, and you're trying to create three levels. So each section is gonna be the same width as the one before it, so that when you fold it together, it's going to create that little step that's the same. And so you're just going up about a half inch each time. So we're going to make the first score at one and a quarter inch. So I'm just gonna press that in a couple times. Now, because we wanna double that, we're going to go up to two and a half inches, okay? The next measurement is going to be at four and a quarter. Okay, and then we wanna add the same amount to that, so we're gonna go up to six. So that next bracket is one and three quarter inches. And then finally, since this stops at six, I wanna make my last one at eight and a quarter. Since I know that this is 10 and a half inches long, I'm just gonna flip it. And I wanna make that last one at, I believe it was two and a quarter, right? Yes. Okay. So you have two and a quarter here, two and a quarter here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fold these little stair steps. And I just love how this card looks displayed. I should make them more often. But um, this was something that was suggested for the call, red, white, and blue cards, as well as three folds. So I'm really glad that I saw that call because I would have never maybe thought to make this card otherwise. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp a little greeting here at the bottom, and this is also from the A Year of Flowers 2 set. So just do for you right there. All right, and then when you add your flowers, you're going to add them with some pop dots, or if you don't have pop dots, you can just go ahead and use a regular adhesive, but you wanna have it just above where your greeting is, overlapping that top layer. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a few pieces of this foam tape because I'm actually out of my foam squares. And I'm just gonna put these right along the bottom 
of, or the top, excuse me, of that little step. like that. You might need to change where it goes a little bit. All right. So right there. And then the next one, it's going to have part of this card assembled already, but I'll go ahead and show you. I got a lot of feedback that people really like to see it from start to finish. So In there and when you're checking it you can fold it up so that you can see where it's going to hit exactly so there and then the last one I just think this is such a cheerful card you have it out it's just like a little whimsical bouquet of flowers And then you could go ahead and have a little bit of a surprise greeting like the inside. If you want to add your signature or a little message to this card, you can put that in those little in-between layers. So I'm going to go ahead and put this at the bottom there, the With Love, and that's from the same set. So you fold it, and then fold it, and then when you display it, you're going to have those different little layers there of the bouquet. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy this card. I hope you enjoy more videos. Please check my blog, Hands, Head, and Heart, for more inspiration with this set. Thank you for watching.